Welcome to Easy Deploy YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to set up vulnerability scanning for Docker images in AWS ECR. What is covered in this video? We will be seeing what is Amazon ECR? What is Docker? How to set up vulnerability scanning for Docker images in AWS ECR. Use cases. Securing compliance. Our client operates a healthcare application responsible for handling patient health data. To align with SOC, SOC2, and HIPAA standards, it's imperative that we establish a secure and compliant environment. To accomplish this goal, we've implemented vulnerability scanners for the images uploaded to the ECR repository. Additionally, we've configured our CI slash CD pipelines to exclusively deploy if the ECR image is devoid of vulnerabilities. Should you require help in performing this step? Please feel to contact us in the email mentioned. Contact at easydeploy.io. Prerequisites. AWS account. AWS account with ECR full access. Basic knowledge about ECR and Docker. What is Amazon ECR? Amazon Elastic Container Registry is a fully managed Docker container registry service provided by Amazon Web Services. It allows developers to store, manage, and deploy Docker container images. Amazon ECR provides features like encryption, access control, image lifecycle management, and integration with AWS identity and access management, making it easy to control who can access and manipulate container images. Developers often use Amazon ECR as a central repository for their container images, which can then be pulled and deployed to various environments, such as development, testing, and production across AWS infrastructure. What is Docker? Docker is an open source platform that enables developers to build, package, distribute, and run applications as lightweight containers. These containers encapsulate the application along with its dependencies, libraries, and configuration files, providing consistency and portability across different computing environments. Here's how Docker works. Dockerfile. Developers define the environment and instructions for building the application within a Dockerfile. Image. Once the Dockerfile is created, developers use the Docker CLI to build an image. Container. An image becomes a container when it is executed by a Docker engine. A container is a runnable instance of an image, isolated from the host system and other containers. Docker Engine Docker Engine is the core component of Docker. It is a lightweight runtime and tooling that runs containers on the host system. The Docker Engine manages the life cycle of containers, handling tasks such as starting, stopping, and removing containers. How to set up vulnerability scanning for Docker images in AWS ECR. Search for ECR. Click Create Repository. In Visible Settings, I am selecting as private as we are doing for demo purpose. Select based on your needs. Give repository a name. If we enable scan on push, it will automatically scan the vulnerabilities when we push the image to repository. Click create repository. Our repository is created. Now we should create an IAM user for ECR full access as we are doing it in AWS command line. Click create user. Give username. Click next. We can directly attach the policy to user. Now select the first policy as shown in the video. This will give full access to the ECR. Click Next. Click Create User.
Now the new user is created. Go inside the user we created. Click on Security Credentials. We should create an access key. Click Create Access Key. You can select which use case you want based on the requirements. Here I am selecting CLI. Tick the confirmation box. Click Next. We don't need to give tag value, it's optional. Click Create Access Key. Download the .csv file. Click Done. Now we have successfully created Access Key and Secret Access Key. Search for EC2. I already created in server. Go inside the instance. Click Connect. Now click Connect. Now we successfully connected to the server. We should switch to root user. Type sudo su command to switch to root user. Now we should install Docker in our server. Type the command which is shown in the video. Docker is installed now. We can check the status of the Docker by typing the command as shown in video. Docker is not active. We should start the Docker by typing the command shown in video. We can check whether the Docker is running or not. Now the Docker is running. Now we can create a folder. Go inside the folder. By following the steps shown in the video, we can move the content to index.html. Type ls. Here you can see the file where the contents are. Now we can create a Docker file. Here Docker file name should be Docker file and D should be in capital. Use VI editor to edit the file. I am using base image of Jinx. 
I am customizing the base image by copying the index.html to the default path of the Jinx. Type AWS configure and enter. Because we need access of ECR to work in the AWS command line. Here we should configure access key and secret access key of the user, which we created with ECR full access. Go inside I am user. Go inside the user, which we given ECR full access. Select Security Credentials. Copy the access key. Paste the access key. Paste the secret access key which we downloaded while creating access key. Give the default region. Go to the ECR console. Click View Push Commands. Copy the first command. This is the authentication token of the ECR. Paste here. Click Enter. We successfully logged in. Now go back to the ECR console and copy the second command. This command will create our own Docker image. Paste here. Click Enter. Now our image is built. Go back to the ECR console and copy the third command. This command will tag our image to the repository which we created. Paste here. Click Enter. Now our image is tagged to the repository which we created. Go back to the console and copy the fourth command. This command will push our image to the newly created repository. Paste here. Click Enter. Now our image is successfully pushed to the newly created repository. Go back to the ECR console and see whether the image is created. We can see the image is present in the repository. Tick the image checkbox. Click details. We can see the vulnerabilities which was scanned. As we enabled scan on push, it will automatically scan when we push the image to repository. If the vulnerability is in critical or high, it should be resolved. We can also optionally configure our pipeline to deploy the image only if the vulnerabilities are fixed. I am not covering the steps on how to resolve the vulnerabilities as this is not covered under the scope of this video. We use Jinx base image in this video. I suggest you to use Alpine because the Docker image size is lesser compared to Jinx. Conclusion We have seen what is Amazon ECR, what is Docker, how to set up vulnerability scanning for Docker images in AWS ECR. Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing, and managing their environment with AWS best practices.